All right, let's discuss a little bit of payroll. In this example, we're going to calculate gross and net pay, but specifically for a salaried employee. Here is our example. It's Braylon Anderson. He earns a salary of 76000 and earns time and a half on his hourly rate for all hours worked um, over 40 hours per week. This is a plus because most salaried employees will only receive their salary. So we're going to calculate Braylon's gross pay, his net pay, and please note that he is paid weekly. Make sure to take a picture of this problem or screen capture it as we will refer back to the information on it as we go through his calculations. Let's look over the formulas required to solve this problem. The first one is calculating his regular weekly pay or regular pay. What you want to do here is take his yearly salary and then you're going to divide that by 52 weeks because there are 52 weeks in a year. Once you do that, you'll get his weekly pay. Next, you're going to calculate his hourly rate. We need this in this particular problem because, again, his job position actually gives him overtime pay. With that, you're going to take his weekly pay and divide by 40 hours. You're going to need this information because this is uh, the information we need to calculate his overtime pay. His overtime pay will equal hours worked over 40 hours in one week in this case. So again, any hours worked over 40 hours is going to be considered overtime hours in a week because he gets paid weekly. Next, we're going to multiply that by his hourly rate and then multiply that by 1.5. That will give you your overtime pay. Now your gross pay is going to be made up of his regular pay and his overtime pay. Overtime pay. Lastly, we'll calculate net pay. And net pay is your gross pay minus all of your payroll deductions. And depending on the employee, there could be a few deductions or there could be a lot of deductions. But there are mandatory deductions and there are voluntary deductions when it comes to payroll. All right, let's get down to calculating his gross pay. As stated previously, the first thing we have to do is calculate regular pay. So regular pay for Braylon in this case is his yearly salary which is 76,000 divided by 52 weeks. Once you do that you will get a weekly payment of 1,461 dollars and 54 cents. Next, let's calculate his hourly rate. This is important because we need it to calculate his overtime pay next. His hourly rate is $1,461.54 divided by 40 hours. That's the regular amount of hours in a week. That will give you $36.54 per hour. Now we could calculate our overtime pay. Our overtime pay is four hours, which this is the extra hours he worked over 40 hours in that one week, times his hourly rate, which is $36.54, times the overtime rate, which is time and a half, or 1.5. You'll get $219.24. Together, the regular pay combined with the overtime pay gives you the gross pay. So $1,461.54 plus $219.24 equals $1,680.78. Now I'm going to rewrite that and we're going to uh, emulate or duplicate what you may see on a pay stub. 
On a pay stub, at the very top, you'll see gross pay. And gross pay, again, is the $1,680.78. In the middle, you're going to have all your deductions. The first deduction is Social Security tax. Here, our Social Security is 6%. So what you want to do is multiply 0 0.06 times $1,680.78, which is his gross pay, that will give you $100.85. Again, you have to deduct that. The next deduction is Medicare. Medicare in this particular problem was 1.5%. Multiply that by his gross, and you should get a deduction of $25.21. I'm rounding my calculations to the nearest cent, by the way. These first two deductions, Social Security tax and Medicare tax, is required by a certain law, and that law is called the Federal Insurance Contributions Act, or FICA. All right, let's go on to our next deduction. The next deduction will take care of is federal income tax. In this particular problem, the amount itself is just given to you. Uh, normally in a class, we would go over how you calculated that $400 um, by using charts that the IRS provides. But for simplicity purposes, we'll just give you the amount. The same thing with state income tax. In this problem, it's $135. Next. Braylon uh, elected to have some medical coverage. That will be $100. And then lastly, his company offered stock options, which is also a deduction of $75. So those last two, medical and stock options, are actually considered voluntary deductions. He doesn't have to deduct for those amounts, but he chooses to. So now you take your gross pay minus all your deductions, and you equal your net pay which in this case is $844.72.